Hello, Little Sprouts. Today we're going to read the book called Do Lizards Eat Ice Cream? How Animals Beat the Heat. This book is written by Etta Kaner and illustrated by Jenna Piocha. When it gets hot out, do animals wear flip-flops? No. So how do they beat the heat? Let's find out. Do lizards eat ice cream to beat the heat? No. Shovel-snouted lizards dance to cool down. Yes, dance. After racing around on the burning sand looking for food, they stop to dance. The lizards lift its front feet and opposite back foot at the same time, and then switch it to the other two feet. This way the air gets beneath to cool their feet. Do koalas one run through sprinklers? No, koalas hug trees to keep cool. Lower branches are cooler than the surrounding air, so koalas snuggle up close to a low branch. The thinner fur on their bellies helps the koala cool, feel the coolness of the branch. Do sea stars drink a lot of water? Yes, sea stars live near the seashore. When the water goes out at low tide, the sea stars are stuck on land. To prepare for this, they fill up with cold seawater so that they won't dry out in the sun. Imagine if you had to drink 30 cups of cold water before heading outside. Do desert ants sit in front of air conditioners? No. Desert ants need to find food and then get out of the heat fast. Their super long legs for an ant help them do this. They can take longer steps. The ant can move quickly, plus their legs raise their bodies away from the hot sand to keep them cooler. Do elephants use fans? Yes, sort of. Elephants have huge ears with lots of blood vessels. When they flap their ears, they create a breeze and this cools the blood in their ears. The cooler blood can then run to the rest of their body. Ah, now that feels better. Do lungfish take naps? Yes, African lungfish live in water that often dries up and turns to mud. When this happens, it's time for a nap. The lungfish digs a burrow under the mud and covers itself with a blanket of bubbles. When does it wake up? When it rains. But that could take as long as two years to happen. Do alligators wear shades? No. Alligators do need to shade their eyes from the sun, but not with sunglasses. Their eyes, like yours, have pupils that let the light in. But alligators' pupils are slit like, like a keyhole. In the bright sun, the slits narrow to block out most of the sunlight. Do kangaroos wear sun hats? No, kangaroos lick their forearms to stay cool. They cover them with lots of saliva and when the saliva evaporates, the forearm cools off and so does the rest of the body. That cool, you cool off in the same way when you sweat, when your sweat evaporates. No need to lick yourself. Do frogs use sunscreen? Yes, waxy monkey tree frogs make their own sunscreen. It comes from the glands in their skin. They use their legs to rub the waxy cream all over their body. The frog sunblock stops the frog skin from drying out. This is one frog that doesn't mind the sun. Do plovers take cool showers to beat the heat? Yes, sort of. On hot sunny days, Egyptian plovers cool their eggs by keeping them wet. How? Mom and dad go back and forth to a nearby river to soak their belly feathers. Then they take turns sitting on the eggs. They keep this up even after the chicks have hatched. Do oxen get haircuts? No. Musk oxen have long straggly outer, outer hair with a layer of soft warm wool underneath. This undercoat is great for winter, but too hot for summer. So every spring, musk oxen shed their cozy undercoat. No need to go to the barber. Do squirrels carry umbrellas? Yes, Cape ground squirrels have long bushy tails that they use like umbrellas. 
As they look for food under the hot desert sun, they raise their tails over their bodies for shade. Do gulls wear white to beat the heat? Yes, sort of. Herring gull nests can get very hot because they are out in the open. So when herring gulls sit on their eggs, they turn their bodies to face the sun. The white feathers on their head and neck and breast soak up less heat than the dark feathers on their back. All of the animals in this book have special ways to beat the heat. But what about you? What do you do when it gets hot? I hope you enjoyed this book and learned something new about some animals you like. Have a great day, little sprouts.